these fresh new icons. Sheesh, I got the effects and everything. Sheesh. Also, as you can see, I'm working on a new update. Sheesh. So, um, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a safe zone, I guess. In order to make a safe zone, you just need to get my one model. And it's literally just a part. That's it. That is it, bro. So basically, you're just going to put it into your game. So, I show you how to set this up. So, in order to set this up, you gotta go to model, the model tab, <laughs> and then you're gonna go to collision groups. As you can see, I have nothing here. So, I'm gonna teach you how to set it up. So, you're gonna add two groups, one and two. It can be named differently, but I choose one and two for easy use. You are only gonna uncheck this. So, players, which are the default collision groups, cannot collide with one, also known as a safe zone. But, one can collide with two, and that's going to be other objects that you do. So, if you exit out and you have that all set up, what you're going to go and do is you're going to go to your safe zone. Or any part that you have if you don't have my safe zone model. Scroll down and find the collision group ID and change that to 1. And boom, you're set up. You keep the, co the can collide thing. That's all you do. And then, if I have my next bot, I'm not going to reveal this until later. It's collision group is two. You go to the parts and you assign its value to two. So I'm going to show you what the bot does. So the bot's coming at me. Think. Oh, yep. Jump in the safe zone. And ha! You can't get me. Um. So yeah. And then I go out this way. And that's the safe zone as well. So he can't get me. <laughs> anyway, that's basically it. I got no Okay, so, yeah, that's basically the safe zone. So, since we're the default player, we would go, like, into it. And we'd be just fine. And we can walk in and out. But the bots can't, because they're a collision group of two, and two can collide with one. See, I am behind. I don't give a